Hello! This video has English and Russian subtitles for your convenience. My name is Julia Pratkova. I am a glass artist. I would like to tell you about my project, which is called Glass Herd of Durer Rhinos. There are four rhinos in my glass herd. Every one of them has their own story and their own character. I would like to show you my own glass technique. I made up a word for it, and I call it Tsukania. This is what I call the application of glass powder to the glass surface. I apply a paste consisting of glass powder and aloe vera gel on the surface with a thin brush, and then organize the powder particles with a needle so that I can get fine lines. The video I shoot to show you is 10 minutes long. I made it 50 times faster. Please try to imagine a rhino. Can you do it? This is because you have seen this animal once. But Albrecht Dürer never saw a rhinoceros. He used the description of his contemporaries to create his rhinoceros. It was 1515 and Dürer created a masterpiece. As far as I understand, Dürer created the design of the rhino and the woodcut itself was cut by the craftsman. Just look at this beauty. This splinter, the engraving is 23.5 by 29.8 centimeters in size. I still don't understand how you can create so many details in such a small area. It was June 2020. Making a rhino in glass was my obsession. I really like the combination 15-15-20-20. I wanted to complete at least one rhino by the end of the year, but there was a quarantine, closed borders, and I did not have the opportunity to buy glass from my favorite bullseye factory. And I, on the advice of my son, went to a stained glass store and bought two pieces of glass and a jar of dark blue powder. This is all it takes to create a rhino. I bought glass which I had never worked with before, this much, and even with a different coefficient of expansion. Maybe it will work out, I thought. And it started at random. I named him Borsey, which means shameless in English, because he just burst into my life. When I started the first trainer, I was very worried and almost immediately it became clear that I would not be able to accurately reproduce the design. I enlarged the original to 200% and still I couldn't get it right. My hand, though accustomed to delicate work, could not strike the right note, you see? But I wanted to make a rhino, and I decided to continue. I also bought a headpiece magnifier and worked with two times magnification. Note that the lower lip was missing in the head of the rhino. I could not do it and postpone this process until the very end. When I got close to creating the lower part of the belly, I was horrified by the subtlety of the details. I naturally did not know until the very end of the work if I could finish the rhino. Will I succeed? I felt like a pioneer in, in the unknown expenses of Albrecht Dürer fantasy. And the miracle happened. I physically felt that my lines were becoming thinner and more delicate and I can recreate the most complex details. Almost from the very beginning, the rhinoceros chose to be stubborn and the work proceeded too slowly and was very hard for me. I told myself, this rhinoceros has a character of its own. I don't need meek rhinos. And so, when the rhino was finally finished, I came up with the text for the work. It sounds as follows. This work is called Rhino Number no. 1. It is a recreation in glass of the famous woodcut by Albrecht Dürer, created in 1515. 
Альбрих Дюрер never saw a rhino. This design is the result of his imagination. This work is a tribute to a genius. Class work and technique by Julia Pratkova, Montreal, Canada, 2020. I found it necessary to place my monogram onto the work as well. This text will remain the same for the two subsequent rhinos. Only their names will change. While working on the first rhino, I was able to find the glass I needed from the bullseye factory. I ordered the colors of glass I wanted as I was eager to start and see how the garnet colored rhino girl on lilac glass would look. And I started working on the girl without finishing the first rhino. I started out with great enthusiasm. I felt that my skill at the time would allow me to produce a much more accurate work than in in the first case, but the girl turned out to be even more stubborn. The issue was that the chosen garnet red powder turns garnet red only after fusing. When working with it, it is barely visible, and only when dry does it turn whitish. I was not ready for this. My enthusiasm faded and the girl progressed very, very slowly. I would like to affirm that this work was the most challenging to execute. I was practically working blind and at some point I even thought about giving up this work, that is, completely. But I gritted my teeth and pushed on. Thus, my girl Rhino girl number two is a rhino with a very complex character. After doing some tests, I decided to fuse the girl at a high temperature to get a mirror finish. It worked out ideally. All the work that I have done with glass powder is the continued development of my own technique of drawing with glass powder. I have been developing my technique since 2012, but the glass herd of Durer's rhinos stands apart from other works. This is the pinnacle of my technique. These are the more difficult works I ever done. This project is like my Mount Everest, so you that you understand the complexity and importance of the work for me. I completed the goal by mid-December 2020. You know, when I followed in the footsteps of Albrecht Dürer for the first time, I was a pioneer. The second time around, I already remembered the road and walked almost blindly. Many times I lost my patience and concentration. This path through the rhino reminded me a long journey. Tired, you walk, stumble, fall, get up again, and walk. Why did I name the rhinos girl and boy, although they are absolutely identical? Well, that's my imagination. I wanted to see how the rhino would behave if I if it had a different name. And I was right. My girl has a very complex character. She is stubborn, capricious, and beautiful. My boy is no less stubborn. I put a fighting spirit into him. Hence, all my rhinos have a fighting character. The next on my way was the boy rhino. And if the girl was experimental in terms of color scheme, then for the boy I choose my signature color scheme, a dark blue aventurine powder with sparkles on a pink background. And again, I started with enthusiasm. It seems to me that nothing could break me now, but the boy turned out to be no less stubborn than his siblings. I understood at that time that I was creating the best work I ever done in fusion. I was feeling the flow of the music and rhythm of Albrecht Dürer. I have already walked this path twice. To diversify my work, I made the outline of the entire body of the rhino boy and hatched without any order, here and there. 
I put aside the most difficult part, the bottom of the belly, for last. The idea came to me to tell this story and make a film, and so I started filming a video of my work on Rhino Boy number three. In this video, you can observe the process of creating letters from a blot of glass paste. You know, I love to write text on my works, and every time I am fascinated by how the words are formed. I am trying to show you the magic. The two previous videos of my work were accelerated 10 times. I have used the Rhino Boy so that you can feel every dash, every stroke, and every letter from the glass powder. You know, I really think he is exceptionally superior. My magnificent boy. The size of each of my glass rhinos is 33 by 43 centimeters. Again, this is twice the size of original. It took four months to create the rhino number one. The second rhino girl was also done in four months, but the third boy took a total of six months to complete. And although I was distracted by other projects, I continued to work on rhino boy. Am I tired of rhinos? No, this picture still leaves me in admiration all the time. Before I show you my mosaic, let me briefly summarize all the above. I have recreated three Durer rhinos in glass. I watched my skill grow. I made my way through the impossible forest. I succeeded. I am very pleased and proud of myself. You see, there is a very subtle point here. If you draw the drawing yourself, you have a much greater degree of freedom. In my work, the accuracy of execution played a very important role. I wanted Albrecht Dürer to like my rhinos. They are thick and weighty, and they each weigh around 2 kilograms. You can touch them and pet them. But I told you there are four rhinos in my glass herd, and I will gladly show you my mosaic, which was made in 2012. The mosaic is called The Ways of Imagination. This is my first contact with Durer rhinoceros. The size of the mosaic is 60 by 90 centimeters. I will say that it was a unique experience, and I still think about making another rhino. Orange on a current flower, blue background, but not just yet. Long live Durer rhinos! Hooray! And thank you for your attention.